Hi everyone, it's the English Summer here, and as we found out about on Tuesday, stuff packs are being resurrected from the dead. I know we were all maybe talking about there being a Grim Reaper update, but apparently the Grim Reaper hints were just a head nod to bringing stuff packs back. I cannot believe it. I did say when they went over the Chef Hustle stuff pack, I wasn't the most excited by the theming, just because from what they showed us in like the few clips that they showed during the Behind the Sims live stream, why was that sentence so hard for me to say? It kind of felt like a dream home decorator situation for me where realistically we could play the gameplay involved in a new pack already without the pack installed. So I will hold my full judgment until we have watched the official reveal trailer together, which is gonna happen right now. Same old, same old. We're gonna watch it all the way through and then I'm gonna go back and replay it for you all. I do not have the sound turned on just because of copyright. Is that an updated Wolfgang Munch? That literally looks like Wolfgang. Are you kidding me? What if they're like showing off all of the appearance? That kitchen is gorgeous. Honestly, the tiles remind me of the uh, jungle adventure. <gasps> the stand. Oh my god, we got pizza oven. I've wanted a pizza oven. I so hope we get like a stone bake one for in the gardens as well. That just looks like a modern like kitchen one, which I mean is sick, like home baked pizzas. However, I will say that just feels like the selling tables that we already have. So I'm not too fussed about that. Obviously, we already saw the waffle maker. Their hashtag freeing the cupcakes in the base game update. This kid mortified. And we're obviously getting waffles. We've already seen that in the little teaser as well. The matching clothes. Stop it. So this sim's kind of progressing and progressing. She is definitely becoming a professional chef in the space of her own kitchen. But this is the thing like technically you could already cook things and like I know that the waffles are new and I know that the like small appliances are new but the fact is like you could pretty much already do this gameplay like I'm really not seeing anything different there apart from the small appliances that we couldn't already do within the game. So I feel like even from that trailer, I am still feeling the exact same way as I did, which is unfortunate because I feel like paranormal stuff was such a nice breath of fresh air. I will say, I think stuff packs started to get better at Moschino. I think that was like the turning point. I've talked about that here before on my channel. That was when they really started to feel like they had their own distinctive gameplay. It was when they started introducing more items and they felt like their own different things whereas this feels like it's slightly falling back into like the older stuff packs although I will say a new career is definitely a step in the right direction obviously we had that with paranormal but with paranormal we also had haunted houses and we also had the seance table so like it had more gameplay to it I want to say whereas this definitely feels like we've taken a slight step back serve up new looks and then launch a side hustle. So, I mean, I guess you could maybe do this like as, I think it is a career itself, probably a freelancer career. I want to like maybe hazard a guess at, or maybe it's not actually even its own career. We are going to learn more, but after we have watched it again together. Oh, are these crocs I spy? See, if we were going through this at a slower rate, I would not have seen the crocs. I really like like this curly hair with the bandana over it. It does kind of remind me of a Jungle Adventure one. Although I don't think the curly hair that came with Jungle Adventure actually has a bandana. I think I'm thinking of another bandana. We got a little hoodie with lemons on. This is basically just a selling table. Like I'm sorry, like the animation, which I don't even care when they reuse animations. If it's an animation that makes sense, like yeah, absolutely cut the cost time and energy and focus that into something else. Like 100%, like I understand 
why they do that. However, it just works the exact same way as selling tables already do. Like you can already cook dishes and you can already sell them. So yes, whilst we're getting a career in it, it's like realistically, Simmers could have personally made up that career themselves and like earn money from it. And then just like register as a like at home chef under the Ministry of Labor, you know? Like it's not the best thing in the world to me personally. I do like this hairstyle, I will say. It's kind of sick. It's got like an undercut on it as well, which is, or like short back and sides, I guess technically not an undercut. I love the little chicken t-shirt. I think that is sick. The little lightning bolt earring is awesome. Oh, it's a knife. <gasps> it's like flat iron steak. You know, when you get the little like flat iron. Oh my God. That's really sick for like alternative Sims. I can see why they put it on like an alternative Sim. I do like this fit. I like that it's got like flower on. I like that it's a little bit mucky. Love this hairstyle. She gets rid of her old kitchen. She revamps it to this new one. And in here, we have obviously a new wall. I do like these like marble granite countertops. I think those are sick with the big drawers at the bottom as well. I think this is really, really nice looking. I love the cupboards as well. Like this one is open. It also looks like it has lighting, which is definitely a thing that I see in so many kitchens. I honestly sometimes try and do this just with lights in the game and I've tried to do it for a while. So it's kind of nice to see that they already just like exist. So again, we got a new knife block. These shelves are cool. I wonder if this is like modular shelving or if these are just like a shelf, like a weird corner shelf. Feel like they're just an item though. I feel like these are already placed on it. So it's kind of like a bookshelf type situation. Maybe, I don't know. We obviously got ourselves, I assuming uh, this is a shelf so you can put something in here. I love the cookbook. I think that's a sick little design. I also absolutely love this new oven. Again, it does remind me of the jungle adventure like tiles, but I use them all the time anyway. So I'm not gonna complain about that. Apparently in like the concept art, it was a fridge that looked like a cabinet, which in the concept art, it definitely didn't that we saw in the live stream, but this definitely does. I wonder if this is a dishwasher or if we actually might see the return of, you know, like the bins that you can have. We also got a little weighing scales over here. I'm gonna assume that this is just decor though. And then this looks like maybe ice cream, I think of some sort, maybe. We got the waffle maker. We got the stand mixer and then also the pizza oven, which we have seen. The kid is buzzing. This one also has little baby hairs at the front. Definitely looks like the kid is either encouraging or maybe even like helping out, which I mean, we already have helping out with cooking that came with cottage living. This is exciting, I guess, like having homemade pizzas. It does look like you can kind of make them maybe on the fly. I do think this is maybe kind of cute if you wanna go for maybe a little like street market vibe, uh, especially if you have like eco lifestyle. You can definitely take yourself over to the maker's market and sell stuff. This looks like a focaccia or like some fancy bread. And they do actually have drinks for sale as well by the looks of it. It's also got a stand mixer. So yeah, it's basically a table, but then has these like extra sides where you can kind of make things on the fly. So I guess that does change the gameplay a little bit because it's like, hey, it is the same basically functionality, but you know, we added a couple of extra pieces if you wanted to. Absolutely love this hat. This is the one that I kind of compared to Jungle Adventure, but I think it is a little bit different. I think I am misremembering it. The t-shirts are sick. That sad fish chef is so cool. I'm absolutely obsessed with the graphic tees. We already talked about Free the Cupcakes. If you missed it, basically it's coming in a base game update where I'm assuming if it's if you've got get to work, they're gonna actually allow you to make cupcakes in the oven rather than just on the cupcake machine. I don't think that's gonna come for like base game, base game. I doubt they'd like take that out of get to work, but mind you, who am I to know how they're gonna do it? They recently did it with the vanity from uh, Vintage Llama. So they may just apply it to base game. We'll uh, get into that. Oh, they're not Crocs, they're like the chef shoes. I recently just bought the Dylan clog from Crocs. I know it doesn't have like the 
strap at the back like a regular croc does but my girlfriend is like their chef shoes oh not the matching no 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 i hate when families all match together like i didn't mind it when it was just like the mum and daughter because like that's still a bit too much for me but like fair it's cute if you want it to be cute gives me like uncanny valley vibes so it does look like it might be an actual career because she has like a little pizza like chef fit so i imagine she's actually got like a promotion in her career to like maybe unlock this fit she's also wearing little plastic gloves which honestly after spending 11 days in my room and having to glove up every single time i left and my ex-men did not thank me for that uh kind of not okay with it but i'll allow it you know what it's hygienic so you go girly there's the chicken and waffles they've got like bananas and whipped cream there's the fish and dill and then she this is all just like background stuff though like this is a base game thing or maybe it's new for this this hat i didn't even see this hat it's like a whipped cream hat i love this little number right here i think that's so so sick the little like waffle shirt is he a fan because this is like the branding that she had the fact that they're all just walking around oh what is that pizza it looks like a multi-colored like tie-dye it looks like a fab lolly on a pizza yeah the fact that they're all just walking around in like food themed stuff is so funny to me like why i know it's to show it off because i know it's the trailer <gasps> barbecuing dad core oh my god i kind of love this with like the little towel thrown over and then the little shorts this is a full body outfit that i absolutely will be using an awful lot of i'm excited to check out the creator sim i feel like it's gonna be very situational i guess you could say um so she's kind of like built her own place but again she just has like two stands it looks like she's maybe set up in a park this would be kind of cool i guess if you could like actually like run your own place but i'm assuming this is a park that they've just designed to look like this but imagine if you could especially with the neighborly expansion like what if you could own like a second plot of land and then you could actually like create your own basically non-traditional restaurant there like with all the food stands and stuff that i would like to see that i feel like would make this feel like a stuff pack i really like this hair i know it kind of looks similar to hairs that we've got recently but i think it actually like it's not too poofy it looks actually pretty realistic <gasps> the little mushroom apron that's cute it's available 28th of september my prediction was right usually i feel like there's two blog posts but i'm not actually seeing like two blog posts right now so i guess we'll stick with this one which is the one that's actually linked at the end of the video upgrade your kitchen with the sims 4 home chef hustle stuff pack live your cooking dreams and become a masterful home chef this absolutely does not look like someone's home this looks like a massive kitchen with like multiple workers if you want to be a top tier home chef you need the right tools and workspace in the sims 4 home chef hustle stuff pack players can renovate their sims perfect home kitchen and upgrade to new sleek designs inspired by european kitchen designs tap into your best interior design skills with a set of full counters and cabinets and matching appliances the oven and stove fridge and dishwasher okay so it is a dishwasher it's not one of the bins that can go under the cupboards i love the sage green of course i fucking do unfortunately it doesn't look like the shelf that i wanted was kind of there like something to like place a microwave into maybe it's a kitchen and it's super modern and like sleek so i reckon a lot of people are gonna get used out of it like i said i really like the kind of granite small appliances can deliver big results in the kitchen with a brand new stand mixer side note sims can eat edible cookie dough straight from the prepped ingredients jar oh so it was cookie dough not ice cream i'm assuming in that little like tin waffle maker and countertop pizza oven your sims can invite family or friends over for a three course heart-shaped waffle brunch or a night of homemade pizzas speaking of pizza show off your sims sleek modern pizza oven with new recipes inspired by traditional italian flavors your sims will become pizza pros chopping toppings and tossing dough before sliding an unfinished pizza into the other you'll have new focaccia bread recipes to experiment with too we've added so many recipes over the years and it's a little trickier to find what you want to support you in your sims culinary quest we have added filters so you can find the meal you're looking for that's coming in a base game update as well that's not the only thing we've added to the base game update did anyone say hashtag free the cupcakes you can now cook cupcakes in your 
your own oven. So uh, it does sound like they've kind of taken the cupcakes from Get to Work and applied them to base game. So there we go. My question has been answered. Fancy yourself an entrepreneur? I hate that word. Sims can become food stand owners. I do not like they couldn't do that with city living or eco lifestyle. And set up shop in different lots, bonding with their customers and witnessing the outcomes of selling their culinary creations. Players can even customize the name of the anywhere any fair food stand and choose the types of food they want to serve. Hint, hint, the waffle maker and the countertop pizza oven, street food style recipes and portable features make them the perfect companions for the food stand. So they're all like live draggable objects, which is also a nice little detail. So it's definitely adding gameplay that we haven't seen. I know I keep saying that like the selling tables were a thing, which they very much were, but you kind of had to like make stuff at home and then carry it with you and then set it up on the stall. Whereas now it's like, oh, you can also, I guess, make it whilst you're out and about if that's something that you fancy doing. The ultimate cooking adventure simply wouldn't be complete without the right cooking attire. With kitchen ready hairstyles, matching food themes, accessories. Why do we not have a hair net? Dinner lady erasure. Aprons for the whole family. To be fair, that is cute. Especially if you have your kids like help with the cooking together. They can kind of wear little aprons. It is very reminiscent of the days where I used to bake with my grandma as a kid and I would have my own like matching apron to hers. So kind of a little bit of gameplay there for your families as well. I mean, even like pizza nights, like spending a night making pizzas in the back garden and stuff is also like a little family tradition that you can do. I would have loved to see a more like traditional like oven bake style pizza oven as well that you could actually place in your back garden that was a little bit bigger. Just because I feel like that could have come in previous packs. Like I genuinely think that could have been a thing in my wedding stories. I feel like now we'll eventually get it at some point, but we'll just have to wait and see. And of course it comes out on September the 28th. I will be going over all of it with you lot. So I feel like my initial fears were true, but also quelled a little bit. The pizza is what saves it for me, honestly. Like the little pizza oven, I wouldn't be thinking that this felt like a good enough stuff pack without that. Cause I know that I'm gonna use that under different circumstances and not everything is gonna be about like the home chef career or whatever the hell it is. They said it's a side hustle. So I don't even know if it's gonna be an official career, but then seeing her in like the pizza fit made me think that that was an unlock. I would quite like it if it was added to the freelancer, if I'm completely honest. I do want it to be a career. That was one of my main points of feedback when it came to horse ranch was like the lack of careers, even though we had new skills. And I definitely feel like we could have had a couple of different careers just to fill out that pack a little bit, but I would love to know uh, what you lot think about this. Obviously I will be covering it. It's been a really long time since I've covered a stuff pack, obviously. So I might be a little bit out of practice, mainly going over like create a sim, build and buy, and then also the gameplay. So definitely hit that notification bell if you haven't already to be notified about those. Subscribe if you aren't already. I actually upload five times a week, mainly the sims. I'm also thinking of doing some other games soon, so like Oxen Free 2. I would absolutely love it if you are new here and you haven't subscribed yet. Thank you all so much in advance. I appreciate you all always and I will speak to you all in my next one. Bye now.